Hey everybody, Erica here. Uh, yet again, another short video, but I wanted to say this. Please, please, please do not misconstrue obsession with love, okay? The narcissist can be obsessed with you. I've explained this in other videos. They tend to become obsessive when either if their plan didn't work out, if there was a failed Hoover, or if they are just pretty much bored with their new supply and they have all intention on trying to lure you back in. It is not love that they are presenting to you. It is obsession, okay? Narcissists become extremely obsessed. The reason they become obsessed is because they are obsessed with the idea of being able to conquer things. They are obsessed with the idea of having control in every aspect of your life. Their end game is to manage to prove not only to themselves, but to other people that they can do all of the mean, hurtful things that they have done and still manage to have you back in their life. Okay? Their obsession is with control. It is not love for you. It is a desire, a need to have control. If you are someone who has gone through consistent cycles with the same narcissist or even several narcissists, it's control, okay? But that's why a lot of narcissists always, when they end things or when things come to a brutal ending, they insist that you remain friends because they want to be able to have control. If you agree to be friends with a narcissist or an extreme manipulator, okay? You're giving them control. Believe it or not, you're giving them control. You're giving them the power to not only do what they did, but in the end, because of this trauma bond that you have with them, you are blinded by the idea that they had a hard life, you know, their, their relationships in the past didn't work out for them. And, you know, I think they just need a little time to really understand who I am and really see things for what they truly are. And, you know, if I just let them do their thing, whatever the case may be, they'll come back and realize, no, no, they know what they're doing. They know that you have a soft spot for them. They know that you have feelings for them. They know that you are willing to pretty much do anything. And of course, this is a lot of the time in the beginning stage of, especially after a discard, you're willing to do anything to kind of keep them in your life. The reality of it is, is you are giving them power because not only are you not healing, not only are you not moving on from that trauma bond, but now They've managed to convince you to remain friends, stay in each other's lives, and torment you because that's what that is. Someone who just discarded you asking you, let's be friends, is looking to torment you because they know how you feel. They know what you were going through and they don't care. But if you decide, no, if you decide, I'm out, the fact that you managed to reject any kind of affiliation with the narcissist it turns into obsession okay so every time if they try to hoover you if they try to re-enter your life if they try to convince you that things have changed if they try to do any and everything possible to get you back into that same dynamic it is not love it is because they are obsessed. So if you feel someone's watching you, if you feel that that instinctual Hoover may be coming in, or if you feel that they are pretty much obsessed with you in a sense, because they're going to show it in their tactics, in their attempts, it's because they are. But it has nothing to do with love. The narcissist does not know how to love. So bear this in mind. You're not the one who got away. You're the one who got away. Who got away from the bullshit and the nonsense. And a narcissist 
is too 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 obsessed with having control being able to conquer people being able to show people that they're at the head of the line that they're on top and a lot of the time they're going to try to convince you otherwise you have to be careful of that so just remember it's not love it's obsession love and obsession are two different things okay just like love and attachment are two different things Keep that in mind the next time your narcissist or the person you believe is a narcissist tries to re-enter your life. It's my time.